What's up everyone? Thank you for tuning in to the channel. In this week's video, I'm gonna be doing the H, I, and J of the alphabet. I've been doing this alphabet series for a while now. I'm doing every letter of the alphabet in pretty much all different segments, all different styles, colors. Some are VR painted like this one here. Some are painted in real life. Some are drawings out of my sketchbook. At the end of all this, we're gonna have like a really cool compilation of the entire alphabet. So if you're not already, subscribe and stay tuned. This H I actually really liked because I actually like the simplicity of it. What I did here was just having the stems curved and my crossbar stemming down from the bottom of the left side of my H. And that's what I've been struggling a lot with or doing like these days is like trying to have a style that's simple but complex at the same time. It's pretty simple, but just with a little bit of style. This letter I knew was gonna be challenging. I's, L's are definitely hard letters. So I knew this was gonna be challenging. So in this video, I actually remember telling myself like, all right, I, you gotta like, you gotta step it up, like really try to do like a dope I. So for this one, I really try to flex it out. Let me know in the comments how, how you guys think I did with this I. With every single piece, I get to experiment like all I want. Cause I technically have, you know, unlimited VR paint. So experimenting with all these different color combos, letter structures, and just really mixing it up. A lot of people always ask me is, what do you prefer, you know, VR graffiti or real graffiti? Hands down, I would say I always prefer real life painting. You know, nothing could really compare to that as far as like a VR simulator goes. I mean, the game is accurate, but just because you're playing like an NBA video game doesn't mean it's gonna make you better in real life. This VR game, yeah, like the body movements are there, but even then it's not fully accurate. It's not obviously the full experience. I would always prefer real life graffiti.
I think it's pretty cool right now. I'm actually experimenting with even my name and I'm actually starting to paint just my actual name like Ivan, I-V-A-N. And it's really cool. I actually would suggest a lot of writers to do this is every once in a while, just switch up the name. For a while, like when I was painting Gath, it gets, I think the repetition, maybe you could get kind of stuck in it. You get kind of, you know, sort of like lost in the sauce. You just, it's just the same thing over and over. So when you switch up the letters or switch up the name, even just for fun on paper or you paint it, I got a whole new creative flow to my letters and, and bringing it from Ivan to Gath. So that's pretty fun. I guess like, I guess if you look at my Instagram, you'll see more of that kind of stuff. I try to do like a combination and I do this quite a bit where I try to do a combination of a lowercase letter and a capital letter in one. So it's like two letters in one, but it's the same letter. And I feel like that adds extra depth to my letter structure and just helps my graffiti style. So what here, what I did was like a capital J adding like the dot over lowercase J up on top, playing with the style, integrate some like origami type of stuff into my graph. This one too actually was another, just like the eye was just a funky color scheme that I thought actually came out really cool. And I might actually want to try this in real life. That's the advantage of VR is that, you know, you get to experiment with colors, with pieces, all without having to break the bank and, you know, go to the, the store and buy actual paint because graffiti could be an expensive hobby for sure. So I would say that's definitely an advantage of VR. This color scheme was sort of like, sort of like a variation of a warm and cool color scheme. So, you know, warm and cool, like reds and blues. What I pretty much did was like alternate just a little bit off of red and go into like the orange and then switching from the blue and just deviating a little bit far away enough to like a sort of like a navy ocean, kind of like an oasis blue. To me, it looks like coral reef and like the ocean. And I actually look to nature a lot for my color scheme. So I actually kind of worked out. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in again next week for another episode. We have really cool stuff coming out. So yeah, thank you guys. Peace.